After an accident during her first race, 12-year-old Harley White and her car are engulfed in flames. I was just trapped in a burning car. At that time, I thought I was going to die. My daughter, she's burning, and I just collapsed to my knees on the ground. I just prayed, please, Lord, don't let my daughter die. I ran out there. Everything just seemed to slow down. Is that Donnie Wright? Is that Donnie Wright? He's still in there because Donnie Wright is running to pull him oh out. Oh, my God. I reached into the car. I grabbed the seatbelt. I was able to grab it and free her from it. I pulled her out of the car. She was still on fire. I laid on her to smother her out. And I opened my eyes, and Harley is laying right beside me. And she's saying, Dad, Dad. Dad. Harley's injuries uh, were very bad. Uh, she was 45% deep third and fourth degree burns. It was really bad. We, uh, I actually thought, you know, I might lose my daughter. The doctor there calls us by name, Charlie Michelle White. Your daughter, Harley, is burned very, very bad. But I want to let y'all know that she's going to be OK. She's going to be fine. She's going to live through this. Harley's going to be able to walk. She's going to run. She's going to play. She's going to do all the things that she used to do, except that now she's going to have scars. As soon as Harley got out of surgery, the first words out of her mouth was, Dad, can we fix my car? I can do everything I did before because I worked so hard and stretched all day. I didn't like it, but my parents pushed me. And whenever I first got back to school, I was playing basketball. I'm so comfortable with my scars. I mean, I want to show them off. I want to tell people what happened. I still wear my bathing suits. My mom gets mad whenever I go swimming, though, because I can't get sunburned. But I love wearing what I have and showing them off, and I don't care what anybody thinks about my scars. The first time I saw Donnie after the accident, Port City, it was a memorial race, and um, they were donating to Shriners Hospital. I first met them that night, Donnie Ray and his family, and I honestly didn't want to let him go. She was with her mom, and I was with my mom, and it, it was a pretty emotional deal. Both moms started busting out crying. I think of my hero. He is my hero, and he'll always be my hero. After saving Harley's life, Donnie dedicated himself to becoming an EMT. May 6th is when I graduate with my EMT degree. I'll, I'll be a state certified EMT and uh, can go work on an ambulance if I want. I'm burned, but I have to race again. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life, so I got to do it now. 